So what do you think? Pink suits me well, yeah? Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, you might have been wondering why this video is a little bit washed out. Now, the reason being is because my camera is actually shooting at a log profile. So, what is log basically? Now, the log profile in some cameras are actually those washed out videos that you see in your screens. Well, it's actually a mode on high-end DSLR cameras and also um, high-end mirrorless cameras. But unfortunately, we don't have it here in the EOS M line. Now, like I said, the log profile starts off as a washed video. Now, why does it start off like this? Well, it's more so for post-production purposes. This video profile actually gives you more room to move when you're using it for post-production, whether if you want it at a warmer tone or a cooler tone without actually sacrificing a few things such as producing a lot of grain or noise or even improving the dynamic range of your videos compared to your standard profiles. So I'm currently sporting a Canon camera. So that means I'm using the C-Log profile as compared to Sony and other cameras, which is S-Log profile and such. Now here are some sample videos comparing the neutral profile versus the log profile versus Canon's cine style profile as well. <laughs> Now, in my opinion, since this is a mid-range mirrorless camera, the log profile only gives you a little bit of room to actually make your changes and improve your videos. So here are some sample videos of your color profiles that have been color graded from the neutral to the C-log and also to the cine style of Canon. So right about now, you'd be asking yourself, how can I get this log profile on my camera? Now, like I said before, unfortunately, mid-range EOS M cameras don't actually have any log profiles on their camera, but there is a way that you can download this. Now, down in the description below, I've actually put there a link that would lead you to downloading the software for your Canon camera. It would cost you at around 30, 35 US dollars though, but if you're on a budget and you want something that would not cost you, um, there's actually a link there as well for CineStyle if you're interested. Now, after you've downloaded this color profile, all you have to do is head on to the Canon website and download the Canon EOS utility. But let me just remind you that the EOS utility comes with conjunction to your camera body type. So it may not be compatible with your camera body type. All you have to do is search in Google your camera body type and then later on add the words EOS utility. So right now I'm actually sporting the Canon EOS M6 Mark II. All you need to do is search on Google Canon EOS M6 Mark II EOS utility. And then later on, you can actually find there that there's a link going to that specific camera on that specific page on Canon. So after installing the Canon EOS utility on your laptop, all you have to do is connect your camera and then go to camera settings. And then after that, go to register camera picture styles. So in there, you'll see three tabs, user defined one, two, and three. Now this is where you put your picture styles or your log profiles. So as you can see there under user defined one, there's a small folder there, tick on that folder. And then after that, look for your downloaded log profile. And after that, install by clicking OK or apply, and then eject your camera properly. If you check your user defined, you can actually find there your C-Log3, your cine style, and as well if you've added another user defined there. Anyways guys, I hope you've learned a lot from this video. 
and thank you very much for tuning in. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and also hit that bell icon for any more future notifications. If you have any comments and suggestions, just leave them down in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, I'll see you all on the next vid.